Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 11. And today we're going to be doing the four-wheel drive challenge. And you'll notice that my uh, my credits have gone down quite substantially. Well, yeah, I couldn't really resist it. Kind of bought a Toyota GT1. And I put 172 miles on it. Just fucking around with it. I haven't done any progression wise races i've basically just been doing uh practice and family cops on lasarth because i unlocked it so that's basically what i've been doing and no i'm not using the acura dnx for the four wheel drive challenge i'm actually going to go buy a new car it is somewhere in here i'm either going to get the celica or the mitsubishi mitsubishi yes gallant uh, yeah, I'll go with the Celica, actually. I was thinking about a Gallant, but... Fuck it. This one has less horsepower anyways. Probably a little bit more of a challenge. Holy shit, those are some... Huh. Several new cars, just from that. Cool. Alright, well, beginner events. Hopefully I don't have to do any upgrades to this thing. Foil dr Four wheel drive going in cars. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Just gonna give up right there. Uh, so, yep, five more races. Let's go. Alright, well, this should be a very interesting one. Pretty sure I'm very underpowered, but I want to give it a shot, anyways. Well, uh, that didn't work out as I had feared. So, I'm gonna have to go do some upgrades to this thing. But in the meantime, uh, I have done some fixes to the emulator. So the get ready to drive text that kept staying on the screen at the uh, at the bottom of the screen, I no longer have to change camera views because that gets or that goes away instantly now. So that's nice. And I also have the split time difference thing show up in the wherever you go through sectors. So if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I guess I'll just show it whenever it happens. But what else can we use? Hmm. You know, I probably should have just done NOS because I also did some testing and it turns out NOS does not affect whether or not you... Uh, it doesn't affect the A-spec points, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to throw that on. Probably going to throw it on every single car I get from now on. And yeah, let's go back and try this again. So... First Valley, First Valley, yes. First race is going to be at Grand Valley East. And like always, five races. And yeah. All right, well, here goes attempt number three. I had to fucking tune the NOS so it actually does something whenever I use it. And 91 A-spec points. I had to take a drink there for a second. But yeah, so you'll notice a few differences. Uh, first thing is first, I did not have to change the camera view like that to get... Okay, this guy's going to do this again. Did that in my last few attempts as well. But uh, yeah, I no longer have to change the camera view to get rid of that text on the bottom of the screen. Like that says get, get ready to drive or whatever the fuck. And coming up here... You'll see some other text that has magically appeared. There you go. Split time difference uh, works, and I just rammed the shit out of that Evo. I am driving like an absolute pile of wieners right now. Because I just drove a Toyota GT1 for like 180-something miles. So I'm kind of used to driving that thing. Not really used to driving these. I should pay attention and fucking shift. It's kind of important. I'm just all over the place with this fucking video right now. Christ. And this driving. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing that I fixed. Thanks to uh, the PCSX2 Discord. And yeah, on the NOS, just trying to catch up to this guy. Yep, that's not the right button. 
That's the right button. No fifth gear. Good to know. Not like I could use it anyways. Oh, shit. This Elec is kind of... Kind of weird to drive, but yep, on the NOS again. Gonna save three bars for the final straight. And yeah, that split time difference is actually really nice to have back. Because it was kind of weird playing without it. Same with, like, having to do this. Yeah, really annoying. Also, I gotta remember, I gotta try to stay in this view a little bit more so I can get used to it. But yeah, this one isn't, or this race isn't too bad. I just suck as a driver, pretty much. Back on the NOS. Even though there's really no point, I'm already winning, but fuck it, it's free. Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> so, 91 A-spec points for the first race. Kind of was a terrible race and terrible commentary throughout, or throughout, yes, throughout the duration. Once again, 1,500 credits like the last two episodes. Nah, I had 690,000 because it said 69. Yeah, I don't know. And next we have kind of an odd choice, Auto Ring Mini for four laps. Similar field, let's go. Oh my goodness, that is a huge difference in A-spec points. Who's the problem in this one? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm thinking that Audi... Unless I miss something. Well, it's kind of weird how the race started with them way up there. Considering, like, I'm at the very back and it starts whenever I cross the line, not them. Okay, whoever started out front, that Audi Quattro, yeah, he's, he's the problem car, I could tell already. Well, uh, let's, uh, okay, Range Rover, you can stop slowing me down. There's three Audis in this race, oh boy. Okay, going a little wide on the NOS. Okay, Audi, you, you can stop being a dick. Damn AI. I'm going to refer to the AI as other people actual drivers because I don't know I'm weird like that also the emulator is running kind of funky on this map track whatever going a little wide there because I'm on the NOS and holy shit okay just cut the corner damn it still weird driving in this camera view but what's funny is the uh, the screen I'm playing on feels like it's half the FPS as like what I'm seeing through OBS. This Audi does the same shit. Fuck. Take that, bitch. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna start playing like that throughout most of the LP. Just to cars that deserve it. Oh no. Okay, saved it. And yeah, just gotta maintain this really short lead. I still have more than half of my NOS left. Gonna use it up the hill. Down the main, well, whatever straight this kind of is. Two seconds ahead already. All right, I'm in pretty good shape. Emulator kind of dropped a few frames right there. 
feels like I'm playing in 20 FPS. I don't know. It likes some tracks and it doesn't like others. Especially the the nighttime tracks like George V. Paris or George V. Paris. I keep saying V, but it's the fifth. But I'm a dumbass too. Uh, it doesn't like special stage and it also doesn't like the Vegas strip, which is a thing. And across the line. Several seconds ahead. 157 A spec points for that, too. So, yeah, that NOS is definitely clutch for getting high A spec points. I wonder if I, like, how much more I would have gotten if I took Turbo off. Probably, like, 170 to 185 or something like that. All right, going to race number three. This one is going to be at Suzuka East. Again. More S's, woo. All right, three laps around. Oh my goodness, 186 a spec points. I was gonna try to correct myself from stuttering like a fuck ass, but yep, this is gonna be tough. But my NOS is actually letting me keep up at the start of the race. I think it's this VR4 that's like bringing that up quite a bit. Because I raced against an A3 in the last race, and it wasn't much of a challenge, really. I knew he was going to do that. But yeah, already in the lead. We're not, like, barely halfway done with the lap. Now I just got to maintain it. Oh, shit. And not do that. And also try to do everything I just said in this camera view. So I'm kind of going through this pain for the for video quality sake because it'd be a lot less entertaining if you just see this the entire time. Maybe. I don't know. I should get on the NOS. Because this guy is catching up to me pretty quickly. Uh, and if I get on the NOS, I better compensate for how much faster I'm going down here. Because, yeah. Physics and shit. So it turns out the A3 is the... the problem car. Because it's clear nobody else is keeping up but him. Just this camera view just makes me feel like I'm getting loose all the time, so I keep counter steering wherever I don't need to. Get out of my way, damn it. Dirty driving and shit. Alright, this time I gotta remember to get back on the NOS. I'm too inside. I'm just gonna go flying off. Okay, kept it on. Back on the NOS. See if I can maintain some distance. Yep, pulling away from him. Oh my god, I did it again. Fuck. Nope, you're not getting around me. Kind of didn't mean to hit him like that, but whatever. Or did I? Should probably downshift, that would be a good idea. Final turn. Or turns, if however literal you want to be. Don't know why I downshifted again, it wasn't necessary, but hey. And there we go. 186 A spec points. Fuck yeah. Probably wouldn't have been possible without the NOS. So, is it a cheat? Is it not? I mean, they didn't code the NOS to, like, affect the A spec points, so I guess it's intended. That's just how I'm gonna be. Alright, moving on to the next race at El Capitan Reverse for two laps. 
couple of new cars, but yeah, other than that, most of the same stuff we've seen already. We got a VR4 and an Evo 8. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. Maybe, I don't know. I did not get a glimpse of the A-spec point, so I guess it'll be a surprise to me whenever I'm done. Y'all obviously know what it is, because y'all saw it. Maybe, I don't know. Using us off the start. Okay, that was very early and se severe, whatever. A shitload of braking for a corner that's not even that bad. But, whatevs. I just said whatevs. Oh my god, I'm a fucking sinner. Whatevs. Oh my god. Like, how, why do you break so early? I mean, that's like totally rare. You break check me? Or like, what the fuck? I'm just gonna stop right there. So, uh, yeah, this might be a cakewalk, considering how bad the AI are on this track. Kind of weird how... Actually, no, it, it kind of makes sense, I guess. I was going to say, kind of weird how the AI suck on some tracks, and most of the tracks that they do suck on are the tracks that were the most strict in the licenses, like this one, for example. This one was very, very strict. And it was very annoying. Okay, I'm going way too fast. I haven't done this configuration in a thick minute. Thick with two Cs, of course. As you can tell. And holy fuck, they've fallen so far behind. Well, uh, basically this next... Next? If I stutter one more time, I'm probably going to cleanse my mouth with plaint thinner. Plaint. Yep, uh, I'm running to Home Depot after this. Motherfucker. I am so far ahead of them now. How many seconds is that? Six seconds. Yeah. AI slowed down a shitload more for that turn last time. It was clearly not necessary. Yep, cutting the grass right there. Nice. I'm going to try to do some experimenting with the audio in the next few videos because I want to try to get rid of this stupid wheel and pedal noise that y'all are hearing all the time. The problem is, if I'm talking, like, if I'm not talking at a certain volume, the mic is not going to pick it up with the threshold that I put on it. So that's, like, kind of the reason why I haven't done it yet. I just need to do more experimenting. So far, I've been doing, like, video experimenting, like, putting the internal resolution in the emulator to, like, changing that up to see how it affects the video quality, uh, recording and rendering in different bit rates, stuff like that. And now that I fixed the issues, like pretty much all emulator issues, and also, uh, I don't know if. Okay, I've smacked the shit out of the wall. I don't know if I mentioned it in a video already, but I'm getting an RTX 2080 Super. It should be coming in a few days as for me recording this video. So I'm hoping that will completely fix all my emulator issues, because right now. It's putting like a 50 to 80% load on my GPU and like 25% on my CPU. So with the new GPU, I'm hoping that smooths things out a little more. And plus, like, it's a general upgrade to begin with. Being able to do ray tracing and shit. And there we go. These, wow, 179 A-spec points. This shit is broken as fuck. But, yeah. Uh, 12 seconds behind. 
yeah, that that just shows with my driving skill how bad the AI suck on that track. I guess they should have been right on me the whole time. Anyway, 1500. And now, race number five. All right, ladies and mental gen, race number five at Fuji Speedway 90s. And this is probably going to be the most challenging one yet because super long straight and shit. Huh. Couple of new opponents. I don't know what the fuck a Honda Clicks is, but I guess we'll find out. Holy shit, that thing's ugly. It low key looks like a modern NSX. And I just said low key unironically. Ugh. My brain is rotting away slowly. Anyways, on the NOS, just to keep up at the start of the race. Wait. Did that say Honda at the beginning or Hyundai? Because that's a Hyundai uh, badge on the back. I'm going to try to get a better view of it. Yeah, that's Hyundai. Hyundai. Fucking Korea Boo K pop car. Yeah. Also, I bet that's going to be the trouble one. The troublemaker. But fuck it, we're going to go with it. Uh, I, I'm just going to use a little burst of NOS right here. Because we do have the chicane coming up, and no, I'm not going to be cutting the chicanes on these races because I'm not fucking 10 years old anymore. Save that shit for the 10 year olds. Back in 2005 and 2006. That was the wrong button. I meant to press this one. You know, wait till I get around here. That was terrible how I went through that, but I was just fucking around with shit. And back on the NOS. I'm gonna save four bars. Alright, four bars right there. Steering wheel sensitivity is always super sensitive still. He's gonna break too early. Yep, called it. Eh, I break the tad late. Also got off the brakes for some retarded reason. Little burst of NOS. It's probably about like half a bar or something. I always go too fast throughout that chicane, and I just go straight through the dirt. But I'm gonna try to keep all four wheels on the pavement. And at least two on the curbing. Or at most. Yeah, at most. A little bit of NOS, just not much. Three bar for the straight. Yeah, I'm doing this a lot because I'm just trying to get an idea of how far back he is. Okay, okay, dude. All right, that's... Back to the tryhard view. I don't think I'm going to win this. Oh, boy. Come on, Nas. Come on, Slipstream. Oh my god, I might actually get him. I did it! Suck my dick, asshole. Fuck you. He literally pushed me into the grass. You motherfucker. Ugh. That's the shit I'm going to be dealing with throughout this whole thing. 
Cinnamon smoking Jesus Christ. Let's get my fucking prize card and end this goddamn video. And the prize for the four-wheel drive challenge! Okay, we get this thing. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Um, y yeah. We got that. And we got that. Um, where did you go? There you are. Um, yeah, we got this thing. I, I have no words. I have no idea what the fuck it is. But I guess it's cool. So, uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we do the MR challenge.